The Minister of Urban and Rural Development says, along with the revamped mass housing program, the Build Together and Shake Dwellers programs will continue to spearhead government's efforts to provide housing. The ministry has committed itself to build 5,000 housing units and 6,500 service plots countrywide every year. Sophia Shaningwa acknowledged that this is a small drop considering the country's over 100,000 housing units backlog. She handed over 22 houses to Rundu residents constructed under the phase one of the mass housing program on Wednesday. This against this financial facts that I am pleased to inform you that the cabinet approved that the government discounts the selling price for the social houses to ensure that the houses built under the mass housing development program are affordable to the target group. At least 42 other houses that have been completed are ready to be handed over to the beneficiaries. 124 others are still under construction. The minister also handed over six houses out of the 20 that are complete at Nkurenkuru in the Kavango West region. The town was awarded 59 housing units under the first phase of the program, of which 39 are still under construction. The smallest of the houses, a two-bedroom, cost the beneficiaries $90,000 after a government discount. Shaningwa stressed that the houses are for first-time buyers only and they should not have benefited from other housing schemes.